Okay, hello viewers. This is Danish Vasim, and you are watching this video on my YouTube channel, Danish Academy of Mathematics. So this is your online instructor, Danish Vasim, and this video is brought to you by Nest One Two Three M School. So you can subscribe my channel on YouTube, Danish Academy of Mathematics, and you can join me as well on Google Classroom by following these steps. You can pause that video and follow the steps. So today we are going to start this book. This is new syllabus, primary mathematics. Grade six book, and this is the second edition of that book. So, without wasting time, let's start. So, today we are going to start unit one, and the name of unit one is simplifying and evaluating algebraic expressions. So, again, book is new syllabus primary mathematics six second edition, and page number two. You can open your book as well. So, this is lesson one, and we will start with recap. And in this recap, we will learn how to use let us to represent the unknown number. So this is the first question I'm going to teach you. So question is, Ahmed is X year old. Okay, Ahmed is X years old. His sister is four years older than him. So how old is his sister? So let's start with the solution. So we have Ahmed here. And we know the age of Ahmed. I use highlighter here. The age of Ahmed is X years old. So Ahmed is X years old, and his sister is four year older. So his sister is four year older. So we need to add four years in the age of Ahmed. So I'm going to add four years in the age of. Ahmed. So this will be equal to the age of his sister. So his sister age is x plus four years. So this is Sani Shusi. Thank you for watching. Okay, we are going to solve question number two. So question number two is there are nine apples in the basket. I highlight here. So we have nine apples in the basket, and why apples are Rotten and thrown away. So, how many apples are left? So, start with solution. So, we have a basket. So, we have a basket here, and we have nine apples in that basket. So, why apples are rotten and thrown away? So, we subtract why apples because we are throwing out. So, we'll subtract here from that basket. So, we will throw. Y apples from the baskets. So remaining apples will be equal to nine minus y apples. So this is our answer. So thank you for watching. This is Danish C. Okay, we are going to solve question number three here. So question number three is: There are p plates and twice as many bows as plates. So how many bows are there? So I'm going to use highlighter here. So we have p plates and bows are twice. It means bows are two times more than plates are double than. So we are going to solve it. So solution is we have some plates and we have some bows, and we know that we have p plates, but bows are double. So we will double it. By multiplying it by two, so we multiply it by two, so that will be equal to the number of bows we have. So double than plates, so the number of bows will be two p. So this is our answer. So next we are going to solve question number four. So question number four is seven children share few biscuit equally. So seven children share two biscuits equally. How many biscuits does each child get? So we have solution here: some biscuits and seven children. These are not seven children, just a supposed children. So biscuits are Q. So we have to distribute these big biscuits equally among the seven children. So we will divide these biscuits among the seven children. So each child will get Q divided by seven. So always remember the order in between 
does better. So we will divide Q divided by 7. So we cannot write 7 divided by Q because we are dividing biscuit among the 7 children. So we will write here Q divided by 7. So each child will get Q divided by 7 biscuits. And this is our answer. So thank you for watching. This is Tanish. We'll see you.